And a former teacher at Northeast High School in Anne Arundel County accused of raping and sexually abusing two of his students could have remained behind bars without bond. As Carl Walls made his first court appearance virtually today, WJZ Live just outside of the school tonight. And Dennis Valera had a chance to go through those charging documents. And Dennis, what did you find in there? Rick, the documents, they detail the possible relationship Carl Walls had with these students, both of whom were students in his classes this past school year. According to the documents, he reached out to them on Instagram. Citing the nature of his charges and public safety concerns, an Annapolis District Court judge ordered Carl Walls to remain in jail without bond. The former Northeast High teacher is facing a slew of charges after two students came forward back in May. We'd really like to, you know, help make sure this individual um, gets the justice that he deserves and is not able to uh, victimize another person. Charging documents detail the alleged relationships. A 16-year-old student said her relationship with Walls started in January, while a 17-year-old student said her started in April. The documents say Walls reached out on Instagram. A victim says things would start off sweet, but would escalate sexually, asking things like, when was the last time you had sex, and asking for nude pictures of themselves. Both victims said Walls would send videos of himself masturbating in response. The allegations cover incidents on and off campus. In one instance off campus, the 16-year-old said Walls grabbed her throat, kissed her, then he pulled a knife out from the center console and placed it near her thigh, at which point he told her, maybe I'll use it. Both victims also said Walls pressured them to keep things quiet, one of them saying, Mr. Walls told her to keep it a secret because what he was doing was wrong and no one should know what they are doing. After Friday's hearing off camera, Walls attorney Peter O'Neill said he was disappointed with the judge's decision given lack of record and that he would have gone home with his parents. We learned in court that Walls' parents told authorities that he has mental health conditions. Also, one of the victims in this case has filed a protective order against Walls last month. Reporting live in Pasadena, I'm Dennis Flair for WJZ.